okay now uh, we learn uh, another excel function which is called indirect uh, the indirect function the idea of uh, the indirect function is uh, pretty simple it, if you if you give indirect uh, a text it will convert that to a cell reference and that is the whole objective or whole, whole idea of indirect uh, but but then the use of indirect uh, and and to, to gain mastery over indirect uh, takes time uh, you know it, it needs a lot of lot of practice uh, but then it's 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 a it's a very useful tool to have uh, and, and and a very powerful tool to have in your uh, repertoire so uh, let's let's look at what is the the syntax of indirect so I just go to a blank cell and type indirect okay and there you go you, you you can provide a, 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 a string or a reference to uh, indirect and and as I said it will uh, convert it to a reference so let's see that um, let me let me write so I have these numbers here as you can see in a1 to to uh, b4 right so uh, here if I type indirect and then I write a1 a1 what do I get I get 64 right how does that work now what do you have in a1 you have b2 correct so what happens is that indirect changes the string or the text b2 to the reference b2 so so I could have also written indirect b2 okay and that would have given me the same thing 64 so instead of referring to you know or, or, or kind of putting b2 in quotes I can simply write a1 where I have b2 correct so b2 the text b2 is converted to the reference b2 and I get 64 so writing this function is as if I have written equals b2 okay so that is the that is the way uh, indirect indirect functions so uh, similarly as you'd have guessed by now if I write equals to indirect equals to indirect uh, a2 okay indirect a2 then you will get uh, what is there in b1 which is 45 um, well we can we can take it uh, uh, to to any level for example let's say in d2 I, in d2 i write a1 okay and in and now if i write equals to indirect okay indirect and then i type uh, another indirect right and I say d2 okay and this means for the d2 it, I've written a1 there so the, the the inner indirect will change it to the reference a1 correct and then it will go to b a1 get b2 and it change to a reference b2 and finally we'll get the answer as 64 so that is how uh, the indirect function works um, now let's look at one uh, one uh, other uh, let's say uh, application of indirect so let's say I have a few numbers here uh, in in three three columns okay uh, and I have to add these uh, numbers depending on what the user wants me to do so for example let's say the user wants me to add uh, column B and from row 3 to let's say row 6 okay and here what do I do if I want to do this I just write equals indirect okay of course I do have to sum first sum so indirect right right 
and then uh, so so before we do that let's let's look at what what I am trying to do I'm trying to do b3 to b6 right that's what I want to do b3 to b6 correct but then let me see if I can make it dynamic so depending on what the user enters I will change this so equals to sum then indirect okay and then I say take the, the column correct and you concatenate it to the start row then again ampersand and you have to put the column the colon here okay then an ampersand again correct and column B finally end row six. so indirect the end of indirect here and then the end of sum so indirect will actually convert this string that you have inside the, the indirect to the reference and then I can just simply sum it up so that's what you have here okay uh, now if you want to change this say 4 to uh, 7 there you go from 4 to 7 column B which is 4 to 1 2 3 4 and there you go the answer is 386 or maybe you want to do it for column C so just change it to column C and your number will will change and therefore you get 4 to 7 and 306 so you can just give any start row end row number any column and and you know you get the uh, get the sum using this uh, in using the indirect function